Alright. Alright, before we start this video, a little life update first. We just rolled up to the uni. We just rolled up to the accommodation. Accommodation, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous. Alright, room tour! So then you walk in and this is what you see. Then you have a pretty hotel-like amenities in here. Got your desk, wardrobe, to hang shit. Single bed with a bit of stuff down there. Oh, that's a banger! True, 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 true. <laughs> It's a it's a video, guys. Oh, yeah. Nah, there's no way. Oh, right. <laughs> so I'm currently in university. I'm taking geology. These are some of my friends. And this is what I do all day. I also started a podcast, link in description. Okay, now, when I finished eighth grade, my brother was graduating high school and headed to college. When I thought of college kids, I thought of a bunch of young adults in one concentrated area, all trying to achieve their dreams and having fun doing it. They've gone through 18 plus years of their lives taking English, math, biology, art, and they now know what they want to do with their lives because in my 14 year old brain, that was plenty of time. They had busted their ass for the past 18 years to get into college and to follow their dreams. I am now 18, in university, in a dorm, studying a degree with a dream that is completely unrelated and not a great idea as to what I wanna do with the rest of my life. I now realize that dreams and aspirations are not as simple as getting a degree. Shocker, right? <laughs> I sometimes envy the people who just want to become lawyers or teachers or doctors or historians because your path is set for you. You graduate college with an undergrad, a master's, a PhD. You get a job in your desired field and work your way up for the rest of your life and then retire and die. And some people are okay with that. Some people have reasons for wanting a life like that or maybe the path they want to pursue isn't that exciting or some people are just born like that. There are hundreds of reasons for wanting that type of life. Fair enough. My rational side wants a life like that. Who needs the craziness of another type of life? I've had a pretty good life so far. Never had to worry about food, mine or my family's health. Maybe grades, but that's not that big of an issue. And I've never had responsibilities that I wasn't prepared for. And I think because of this, I don't want that safety or security that that life brings, as I know that my friends and my family will always be there for me. I'm not going to be just a geologist. At least I don't want to. I want a life that is so different it could be advertised. A life like David Dobrik, like KSI, a life of a content creator. Because from my perspective, I can't imagine living any other type of life and being satisfied. All right. YouTube has always been a dream of mine. Who wouldn't want to make videos for millions of people? When I first moved here, I was completely lost. No friends, no money, no food. I was waking up from stress and anxiety every day for the first week. So of course I went shopping and I got a bank account and I made some friends, but my head still felt cloudy. Uh, it was like I couldn't think straight. And I realized that it wasn't the new place or the new people or, or my degree, it was, it was not creating. I felt guilty and lost without making videos because I knew that I was giving up on my dream. Because when you aren't doing what you love, you feel like shit. Now keep in mind, this isn't me saying don't go to uni or don't pursue a higher education. I'm still interested in geology and I want a degree in it, but I'm not gonna be a geologist. When I create videos for all of you, that is the way I wanna feel for the rest of my life. This is the way I express myself getting messages from people saying how much they liked a video will forever be the best feeling. I can't think of anything better. Sure, getting a gift for Christmas or getting a good grade feels good, but making a video someone else enjoyed that you also enjoyed creating, I mean, that feeling is indescribable. So to conclude, my dream isn't to make millions of dollars just making shitty YouTube content. It's to, it's to express myself on this platform and to have millions of people enjoy it. So yeah, 
if you want to help me achieve my dreams, like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel. Well, you know, <laughs> I imagine it just turns out to be a massive fucking ad. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for listening and peace.